Hey everybody, welcome to the Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. I want to do a video on Patrick Kane. His name has been in some recent rumors regarding being linked to the Detroit Red Wings and the New York Rangers. So I want to do a video on Patrick Kane. He's definitely a storyline I want to see as we're entering this upcoming season. I know it's going to take some time for him to make a decision, but you're going to hear more and more teams, this list of teams grow as we uh, we head into the next season. You know, you're going to see injuries come up. You're going to see some teams that want to add the top six talent that Patrick Kane still, uh, still provide, even at 34, 35 years old. So, you know, the list is currently at, I'd say, like four teams. Uh, I'm going to list, even D Dave Peñota listed the Dallas Stars as one team. Uh, definitely keep your eye on the Stars. I think they have a really good team, and they could use that push for a playoff veteran as we enter um, this year. So keep an eye on the Dallas Stars. But there's three other teams that I think will are the favorites to land Patrick Kane. You have the Buffalo Sabres, who he was born in Buffalo. He was a Sabres fan growing up. The timing is right for him to join the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, the Detroit Red Wings, he wants to uh, play again with, with Alex Dabrinkit. So that'd be interesting to see. Or could he possibly return to the New York Rangers? There's been some talk about that as of this past week. So please stay with me throughout. We'll talk about all this and more. So Patrick Kane elected to have surgery to repair a resurfacing hip injury on June 1st with an expected recovery time of four to six months. His agent said he believes uh, Kane will be ready to play by December, at which point he will select the team he feels is the best fit and the best chance to win the Stanley Cup. Uh, his agent told ESPN that teams already have called with interest, and that won't change. Patrick Kane wants to make sure that he's 105 to 110% ready to play, and not 90 to 95%. He wants to make sure his body is 110% ready to go, and then he'll make the decision which team is his is in his mind is the best fit to uh, win the Stanley Cup for that year, and where there's mutual interest in the parties. So, you know, Patrick Kane... I love watching him. I've been watching him since he was drafted. Uh, I love what he did all those years with the Chicago Blackhawks. I was hoping he would return there, but they're all in on Patrick. Uh, they're all in on uh, Connor Bedard and rebuilding around him. So, you know, it's leaving Patrick Kane to go elsewhere. And we saw what happened with him this past year when he got traded to the New York Rangers. Uh, it wasn't exactly the perfect match, but he did do okay with them. And there is, uh, you know, I'll talk about them later, but... You know, with, with what's going on, I think the Buffalo Sabres are ultimately the, the ones that will land uh, Patrick Kane. You know, he grew up in Buffalo, his favorite team growing up. Uh, he's a free agent now, so the Sabres don't have to give up any assets to get him. So it was wise to stay out of that trade last year and not lose a ton of assets for Patrick Kane. Now you could just sign him as a free agent and, you know, add to your uh, top six and, and shuffle your roster around where you have a bit more depth. So... I like this. I really do. I think Patrick Kane is a great fit for the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, GM Kevin Adams uh, has made it known that he wants to add another forward to his group due to Jack Quinn's long-term injury. The Sabres are a team that's been on the rise. Uh, now is the perfect time for them to bring, in Kane, bring Kane home to Buffalo, give their top six a nice jolt. Uh, they currently sit at $8.77 in cap space. Um, you know, with Patrick Kane, he's at that age and you've seen a lot of veterans the past couple of years. They don't take a huge chunk at times. Sometimes they may take a contract where it's a salary cap and performance based where it helps out the team and, you know, it still gets the player their, uh, their due. But, um, you know, I still think this is a great fit for Patrick Kane and the Sabres. Uh, they have a nice, good young core of players that are fast. They can score, they can play. And adding Patrick Kane is a player who has a lot of experience, who has Stanley Cup wins to really help the young kids on this team out. And, you know, he doesn't have to be the main driver on the line. He can be a player who, you know, slowly finds his way into the zone. Uh, you, the Sabres have a lot of players who can gain the zone with ease. They have a lot of speed and ability to hold on to the puck, to give it to Kane, to see what he can do, and to find other players. So the Sabres make a ton of... of um, of, I think it's the team that's really going to ultimately sign him. And, you know, I can't wait. I always wanted to see Patrick Kane in a Buffalo Sabres sweater. So we'll see what happens uh, this coming year. So 
Going to the Detroit Red Wings, John Dietz tweeted, Watch for Patrick Kane to sign with Detroit. Someone who knows Kane very well said Kane told him that he wanted to follow Alex Debrinkit if and when uh, he was able to and if there was mutual interest. Um, in 2021-2022, Kane, when he was playing with Debrinkit, they had a stellar year playing together. Kane had 92 points, and Debrinkit had 78 points in 81 games. 41 of those were goals. And the Detroit Red Wings have the cap space. They have $5.15 million in cap space. So, like I said with the Buffalo Sabres, maybe Kane takes a less of a deal where it's half salary and half uh, performance-based where it could fit into the cap. So, with the Detroit Red Wings, can you picture a line with Alex Debrinkit, Dylan Larkin, and Patrick Kane? Wow, that'd be, that'd be pretty scary. You know, the Detroit Red Wings made a lot of drastic moves this year. Um, they added a lot of veteran presence to this lineup. And, um, you know, I think this is also a good fit for Patrick Kane. You know, when you, you're getting to that age, maybe it's easier to go into a lineup where it's mostly veterans. Um, you know, they all have their stories to tell. And I think Patrick Kane would fit beautifully in this lineup. So we'll see. But this is interesting as the Detroit Red Wings, who have added a lot to Ed Kane uh, this year would be really cool for this group to see and for the fans as well. So keep an eye on the Detroit Red Wings with Patrick Kane. And lastly, the New York Rangers. Arthur Staple of The Athletic predicts said, it came out and said that he predicts Patrick Kane will resign with the Rangers in November. So the, the timing of that is off to where, you know, even Patrick Kane said he, he could possibly sign with a team now if he feels that he wants to do it. So maybe that happens, but with his own agent saying he's going to be more likely to pick a team come December, that already I don't think is too, uh, too valid. But Patrick Kane did say, I would love to be back um, with the New York Rangers. Uh, this was when he said it back in May. Uh, if I could feel better with this team and this opportunity, I'd love the chance. So he said it. At the end of the year, he said he would love to uh, be back with the Rangers, but they still have to make other decisions with their lineup, and they did so uh, with this uh, with this past offseason. So with the Rangers, you know, cap space is an issue. That's where I think, like I said with the other teams, uh, you know, it's going to have to be a situation where he takes half uh, salary, half performance-based. Uh, maybe it can work out. Can the Rangers, who have been in constant uh, rumor talk of the past couple of weeks can they make a move to free up more cap space that's always something that can happen as well but you know the New York Rangers are interesting you know with with Patrick Kane last year he played 19 games he had five goals seven assists 12 points which is not that bad and in the playoffs he played in seven games he had one goal five assists six points um looking at his overall last year uh in 2022 2023 he played in 73 games 21 goals, 36 assists for 57 points. So in a year where his hip was bothering in him, his hip was bothering him, he still managed to play 73 games and put up 57 points. So where a lot of fans say that, you know, I don't want him, he's too old. You know, you got to consider with when you're getting older, it's harder to skate. It's harder to compete with these younger guys. And he was still able to do so and play in almost a full season. I know 82 games a full season, but... 73 games is not that far off. He was able to still be very uh, competitive and put up fit plus uh, almost 60 points, which is really good. And, you know, looking at his year before in 2021, 2022, um, he played 78 games. He had 26 goals, 66 assists for 92 points. So, you know, with that being said, you know, he's not far off from a 90 plus point year. Um, last year, even with all those injuries, um, he was, still was able to put up almost 60 points. So yes, he has lost foot speed over the past couple of years. Yes. He's not that same player as he was when he was winning those cups with the, with the Chicago Blackhawks, but he can still get around the ice. He can still compete. He can still find the open man and he still got his shot. Yes. The speed is a bit off. Yes. He doesn't play a hundred percent defensive hockey as of now, but you know, if he's incorporated with that right team, Patrick Kane could still be a very helpful player for that team. So comment below. What do you think about these Patrick Kane rumors? Do you think he's going to go to the Buffalo Sabres? Do you think he's going to sign with the Detroit Red Wings or the New York Rangers? Comment below and let me know. Or do you think it's going to be a dark horse team? 
that may uh, look to sign him. Comment below and let me know. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button if you haven't done so and subscribe to Hockey Skate Down. It's free. And join a hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great night. Take it easy. Stay safe.